Okay, added some new functionality to the uh, the GM specific vehicles uh, that I think everybody's going to really like. It gives you a little bit more flexibility without having to add switches. So if you go into pretty much any of the switched input functionality, uh, let's say for example burnout limiter, uh, and you hit the drop down boxes, and this is only available for switched inputs, not sensors and things like that. But we've added, along with the regular analog inputs, any of the CAN related um, inputs will um, be on this list as well, switched inputs. So parking brake, brake, clutch bottom, clutch, you know, cruise, any of the cruise buttons. So what I've done here is I've set my cruise set button, the button on the end here, is going to now be my burnout limiter. So when I push this in, it's going to go into the burnout limiter, which automatically disables your traction control. So when you're at the track and you want to do burnout, you push that button in, does your burnout, your cruise control won't engage. Make sure you have your minimum speed set to something reasonable like 40 miles an hour. Uh, so when you're hitting the brake, when you're done with your burnout, it's going to automatically cancel that anyway if you exceed 40 miles an hour during your burnout. And that's vehicle speed, not tire speed. So typically your burnouts, you're not moving 40 miles an hour. But anyway, that's how this works. Um, this functionality is also available in, like I said, any of the switched inputs. Um, I've also configured mine on the traction control through the can right here. Uh, it's going to come and use the traction control factory traction control switch for the uh, traction control enable functionality. So you can cycle through regular track modes without triggering it because we have a minimum time press of one second. Now, if I want to change its state, I hold it down for one second and then you'll see it change the state. And I can still cycle through the different track modes for the, the braking part of the stability control that's still operable and it doesn't affect what I've set my traction control to do. So that's another really handy feature. So if you're dining in the car, um, you can just turn the traction control off like normal. Um, when you're done, you know, turn it back on, leave the factory or the Proify traction control on, but turn the factory off. That's typically the fastest way down the track. Um, if you're road racing, uh, our traction control on with the stability control on in, in its normal phases is the fastest way around the track because, um, it, like I said, it will continue to employ the brake system part of the stability control.